What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the absence. I've been traveling a little here recently uh, to more or less some of the more COVID parts of uh, the country right now, uh, which I stayed away from everyone. I was by myself, just me and my wife. And, uh, you know, everything was good, but also had a, a, a few personal uh, things, had a funeral and whatnot. Doesn't even really matter, really doesn't. Uh, but anyway, I have some pretty cool videos uh, planned out for the near future, but I haven't uploaded in a little bit, so I kind of wanted to pop in and make something. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about some multi-tools, all right? I'm not a professional. I'm just going to talk about my personal experience with multi-tools. If you hear anything in the background, that's my cat. She's playing with uh, some shit. Not literal shit, but some of her cat toys. But anyway, uh, multi-tools are an amazing thing to have. If you work in, you know, if sometimes automotive, uh, maintenance or, you know, whatever, I feel like everybody could benefit from a multi-tool. But the thing is, you have to find one that is, uh, reasonably priced and isn't going to break the bank. You don't want to be just paying for something for a uh, name only. Uh, you need something that's going to meet your needs. You're going to need something that uh, isn't shit, basically, is what I'm saying. So, I've had some bad experiences with some in the past. Uh, namely, uh, I bought uh, some Ozark Trail ones, and they were terrible. I thought, you know, because I'm like, I'm just using it like maybe like a handful of of times a day and uh, I figured that nah, surely to God surely the thing will last me uh, a while well I was wrong and they fell apart quickly and I was pissed so I went to my well it's closed now but I went to we had a local gun shop that sold knives and guns and all the hunting stuff but they also had multi-tools in there and I'm a big fan of uh H and K, and they had like a their own little line of multi tools in there. So I bought one. I spent like sixty dollars on the thing, which is more than what I, more than what I wanted, <laughs> more than what I wanted to spend. Uh, you know, considering my use and you know my need for having one, I don't want to spend sixty dollars on, uh, you know, something that I'm only gonna need a handful of times a day. Now. I was really disappointed. I was really let down because the thing fell apart in the sheath, right? Like, I mean, it was hooked onto my belt and the thing fell apart. Or, I mean, completely ridiculous. But anyway, so I got two here that we're going to take a look at and then a little bonus thing at the end here, um, which maybe I've already showed it on this channel. Doesn't really matter. First off... This is my old multi-tool, and I'm pretty, yeah, this is inverted, so you're not going to be able to read what it says, but that's a Smith & Wesson. This is a Smith & Wesson brand multi-tool, all right? Now, it's not, I don't, well, a lot of these companies, they license the name for other companies to uh, m make things like this, like Smith & Wesson knives and, you know, multi-tools and different other, other things. They just kind of pay for the licensing, you know, to use the name. Now, and it's funny that you say, or that I say that because this Smith & Wesson, well, first off, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's loose. It's really loose. Right off the bat. And this is old. This is old, but I didn't get a lot of use out of it because it, it just kept coming loose. Now, these little... Uh, what do you want to call them? They got like a, a like a tread around the edge here. Uh, I don't know if you can focus, you bitch. Come on. But they got it's almost like a little grip around the the ends there. 
So I what I used to do is that, like I would get like some more pliers or something like that and tighten these things down or I you know finger tighten them as much as I could if I didn't have anything else. And that's what I'm going to be doing here. Just going to But uh and it it comes it, you know it's a your regular plier multi-tool thing uh spring right here and i'm surprised it still works you hear that clicking uh now these aren't the best but if i could if, you know if there was a way that i could get these things to to stay tight i mean this thing would be decent it would work for what i need it to but i can't i've tried and i failed so I've moved on to other things since then. But this multi-tool specifically, like I said, it's Smith & Wesson. Uh, it, it's it got the uh, like a gripping on the side here for your hands, which is nice. It comes with, this one comes with a, uh, like a mini ruler here in inches. Uh, it's got like a little, like a little flat head screwdriver. A uh, little, you know, a little, a little bit of smaller one, and then of course you have your blade. Now this thing, it's, uh, it's cheap. The blade's not uh, terribly sharp, but then again, uh, it cuts. So you need to cut a little piece of rope real quick. It'll, it might take you a minute, but you can do it. <clears throat> now on the other side here. Uh, you have this little serrated blade here, and uh, that thing's got some teeth on it, boy. Talk about taking out some meat. Uh, now, there's also, you know, smaller blades on there, and I feel like this one's sharper than the other one. A little bit, you know, a little poker. Then, you have uh, a Phillips head. You had your flat heads. Now you got your little Phillips head there. And you always, that's a must have for me uh, in a multi-tool. I have to have a uh, Phillips and a flat head in it. I mean, that hurts a no-go. Now, the last thing on this is the, if I can fucking get it out. God dang it. I don't know why it's so important that I have to show you guys this. It means fuck all on a big ship. But it has a damn bottle opener. This thing is bent. The frame of this thing is bent, so I'm having a, a little bit of a difficult time trying to get this shit out. But yeah, there you go. A little bottle opener. How cute is that for when you need to pop a bottle with the boys? You, uh, you most certainly can do so. All in all, it's not terrible, but like I said, this is Smith & Wesson brand, and other than the sheath here that says Smith & Wesson on the, on the little flap here, it, that's the only way you'll know that this was, uh, from Smith & Wesson, or made by something with Smith & Wesson name. Because there's nothing else on here. There's no words on it whatsoever. It doesn't. It's not stamped Smith and Wesson. It's not laser etched. It's nothing. It doesn't have anything. The only thing it says on here is stainless. Right in here. Uh. Anyway, so that was the Smith and Wesson. This son of a bitch is maybe like eight years old. Uh, I'm, I used that when I was a tech at a uh, a machine, like a like a tool and die place. Now this one I just recently picked up at uh, Tractor Supply. I love Tractor Supply. I go in there all the time. Shit's high, but they have stuff around here that I can't get. No, you know they they have things there that I can't get at other places. Uh, just in my general area. So I go there quite often. Anyway, <coughs> COVID. This is uh, Gerber, okay? Now you can pick you can pick these up 
at a lot of places. I, like I said, I picked this up at Tractor Supply. I think, uh, I'm, yeah, you can get them at Walmart. Uh, many other places. Uh, now, this is made in China, just like everything else. But, I have to say, you know, got your little belt loop there. And uh, it, it really doesn't feel like it's going to uh, hold together uh, that long. Not a big deal. As long as the multi-tool still works, I'll carry it in my back pocket or some stupid shit. But, now this one is, it, it does say Gerber on it. It says Gerber on it right there. I know it's backwards for you all, but it is there. And it also says suspension, so it's got a little, like a little, you know, you can, you can feel it, you know, like that. It's got that little suspension on it. Anyway, so there's the pliers. I forgot to talk about them with the other ones, but these line up fairly decently. The other ones were jackknifed to shit. Uh, but like I said, the frame has been on it, so that probably had something to do with it. Now, on this multi-tool, uh, you know, you have your little, uh, your little crimpers here. You got your, uh, man, just holding it is so much better than the other one. But, uh, you know, the, the, and this is fairly new, and the, the teeth on the pliers aren't eight to shit like my Smith & Wesson was. Uh, but there's the teeth. Let's go, let's move on to something else the teeth there's the plier part of it now let's move to another area here is the uh serrated blade here you know got got a little got some uh bite not as much as the other one did on the smith and wesson but it doesn't really matter uh can can anybody tell me what that is that's right you got it don't even have to say uh Moving on, you got a little small, little bitty flat head. Uh, then on this side, you also have your scissors. Anyway, now that we've gone through this side, I'm going to show you the other side. But, uh, these have the uh that that locking uh thing going on so you see these little these little what do you want to call them switches almost uh you actually have to push these down if you want to uh fold it back in see like right now it's locked in place it's not going anywhere neither the uh neither the knife or the bottle opener is moving. So you have to press down on it to unlock it, and then you're able to get them back in there. And I like that feature. I like it a lot, and it actually works really well. Uh, I have no problems with that at all. Now moving on to the other side. I'm really dragging this video out, not on purpose, but uh, I'm just having fun. You got your little bitty saw here, and... Uh, I've used it a little bit just for the hell of it, and man, it works. You have also, you have this little bitty, probably the weirdest Phillips screwdriver I've ever seen, but you know what? I bet it works. I bet it works just fine. Now... Unlike that other one where they had the Phillips and flathead on uh, different sides, here on the Gerber, your Phillips and flathead are on the same side, along with the other regular blade. And this is fairly sharp, believe it or not, and uh, I like it. Anyway, this concludes my video. Now that I've taken you through a pointless journey through uh, multi-tools. I just wanted to upload. I wanted to check in on my people and see how you all were doing. Uh, I'm, I still love making videos just for the hell of it. I'm killing time today. I'm, I don't have to work in the morning. Uh, love it. 
Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you made it this far, uh, tell me what kind of multi-tool you have. Tell me uh, which one of these you'd rather have. Leave a like, comment, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I need to get to 105 subscribers. I'm at 104 right now. Y'all take it easy.